All right, Tim, we have a question here from Whiskey Nerd 88 aka Justin from my Fortnite streams. So if yeah, he watches me play Fortnite, so this will be a very good question. Guarantee it. <laughs> All right. Do you feel game developers are getting lazy with optimization and relying on types of technology in the way of DLSS and FSR are variants to make their games playable? So are they leaning on upscaling too heavily to make up for mm. a lack of optimization? Well, it is a good question. Mm -hmm. It is definitely a good question. I think, well... It's hard to make sort of a blanket statement to apply mm. to all developers because there are definitely developers out there that are really focused on making well-optimized titles that run really well. Mm -hmm. And optimization doesn't necessarily mean you just get super high frame rates. It may mean as well that there's a large range of scaling that's possible within the game so that people with high-end hardware and people with low-end hardware can still play the game at just a different settings with, you know, still acceptable levels of performance. So definitely today, you know, there are still games coming out that play really well and have a wide variety of scaling. We've just seen Atomic Heart come out as one example where it seems to run pretty well on mm -hmm. a, good, a good range of hardware and it looks really good as well. Whereas there are other games that come out that have lots of problems, things like stuttering, low performance, CPU limitations, a game like Hogwarts Legacy, maybe more something that fits into that category. So first of all, don't want to blanket put this on all developers. Mm -hmm. But as far as some developers go in some games, it does feel like there's somewhat of a tendency to rely on these technologies is a little bit of a crutch when it comes to, you know, oh, you know, our game is limited in some way. We'll just use frame gen to get around our CPU limit or, you know, our performance recommended specs are used with, you know, DLSS or FSR enabled. Um, so in a lot of cases, it feels like that we are heading somewhat down that path. So it's not something I'm a huge fan of, but at the same time, generally I would recommend people use DLSS or FSR in games. So sometimes those implementations are better than the native anti-aliasing or there are genuine performance benefits that benefit gamers by using those technologies. So it's, it's a very hard thing to sort of talk about. It can really be, I guess, game dependent in some way. Yeah, and I'd even say in the examples you could use where you believe that sort of thing's happening, I'd almost say that DLSS is, or FSR or just upscaling in general has become more of a convenient excuse than anything else because it's not like now it, it's not like you can blame upscaling technologies for a lack of optimization and development work. It's not like they're now going, oh well, we once upon a time would have put in all this effort to optimize, but now we can't be bothered. We can just use this stuff here. So blame these technologies on a lack of optimization, I think it's just a convenient excuse because we've always seen games that come out with stuttering issues and are terribly optimized and, yeah. A broken at launch, basically. The horrible yeah. PC port thing and that none of that's new. So I, right. I, I don't think it's anything new that we're con dealing with here. I think it's just, yeah, that convenient excuse like, well, you know, we've intended you to use these technologies now that they're available. But anyway. I think yeah, yeah, I, I think that's the case. I, I am a little bit... I think we're seeing over time a bit more of a, some games coming out with more CPU limits than we've seen previously. Mm -hmm. It feels like today's games, you know, especially with high-end GPUs, are more often running into CPU limitations that are common resolutions that you might see. And I would hate to see something like frame generation, as good as that technology can be in some circumstances, used as sort of the, the, the way out of that, as in mm -hmm. the only way in the future we're going to see games with high frame rates of CPU limit is by using frame gen. I would still like to see developers try and optimize their games and use CPUs better so that we do still get high native frame rates because that, that benefits people overall. And then you can still apply things like frame gen, DLSS, upscaling, whatever you want to call it, on top and get even better performance. Mm -hmm. So that's really, I guess, the ideal situation and what we'd, we'd want to see. But yeah, I agree. It's not like it's they've come overnight just being like, oh, these technologies exist now now this is our excuse. Yeah, yeah. I think they've found many ways over the years to find various different things to excuse their own their own issues with games. And, and certainly game development has gotten more complicated over the years as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, game development times have increased. There's a lot more configurations that people are interested in. And as well, I think the expectations for performance have increased over time as well. Whereas previously, things like 60 FPS yeah, would have been right. acceptable. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, gamers may be targeting 90 FPS, 120 FPS. And you know, game engines just haven't caught up to those things yet. So, 
yeah, I think with these things, there's, there's definitely a lot of things to look at. And I think the majority of developers do want to create the best product that they can before those sorts of technologies are integrated. So let's hope that continues. Mm-hmm.